Okay, it's uh, February uh, 2000 and um, 18. So we're doing like a part two of another teaching we did on uh, some of the causes of uh, PTSD, how to be healed of it. And um, <clears throat> so if you watch this uh, first one, um, you go and watch that one, you'll see more what we're talking about. But um, so if you've been in the, the military or, um, you know, whatever, you were in a plane crash or uh, you were, a, you know, a hostage or whatever trauma you had, um, you know, di different types of, all levels of traumas and uh, just wrong, uh, unnatural things to the to the human soul and spirit that you've experienced warfare extended time in a, in a in a war zone or whatever maybe you were a missionary christian missionary in a uh, war zone or a uh, antichrist region you experienced um a lot of warfare that way um, it, 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 you, you can have PTSD too. So anyway, so if I lived, um, you know, over 12 years over here, see here, here and all in here and stuff and, and, uh, war zones and whatever in, uh, and so different parts, different things will give you PTSD. I mean, I don't care if you like this or not. I'm just going to tell you the truth. Um, I don't. I don't care what you think or you believe. Uh, PTSD is caused by demons, demons, satanic spirits, that will come and um, influence you and your soul, your mind, your emotions, soul, spirit, part of you. You know. Yeah, hopefully, to suicide is there ultimate goal but um breaking you down damaging you uh, incapacitating you and um <clears throat> they come and touch wounds a wound uh in your soul and spirit let's just let's just talk to the military people so you're here in in in, in war zones and you've seen bad things and you've heard and done something that, that 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 hurt your soul and spirit, or things were done to you, whatever. You've you've you know shot bombs going off, seeing your friends killed and wounded. Ah, uh, these things do hurt your soul and the spirit part of you, and you don't maybe know why. You just know something's wrong, so you try to drink alcohol or use drugs or doing some kind of sin to try to feel better or forget it but it's uh that's why uh you're trying to deal with this the the, the ptsd and all of its symptoms and, and, and um the pain the confusion depression guilt whatever shame and, and you <laughs> i'll sum it up in one word it's pain in your soul and spirit area. You feel it in uh, your emotions. Um, and that, that is a demon that is, that is, that is putting pressure on your, your soul and spirit uh, to try to get you to, you know, drink, do drugs, sexual sin, whatever, pornography, um, what uh, violent crime, violence, make, make, you think, oh, I'm going to feel better if I go out there and, you know, and uh, beat some people up or whatever. And, uh, but ultimately, it wants to get you in jail or kill yourself, hurt yourself, something like that. It's a demon. It's a devil attacking you. And uh, the things you have seen uh and, and, and heard and experienced in, in war zones or wherever you've been, you know, people that have gone through ethnic cleansings in Africa and uh, Asia, whatever, uh, or just things like that, 
the the um, the damage inflicted on their soul and spirit is a, is an area. Uh, the, the, the demon he he doesn't touch you in an area where you are you are sound and you are strong. He touches where you're broken or cut because he wants to make it hurt more, and he's plugged into it. And so, let me just jump back and say in uh, say World War II, for example. A lot of the people that came home from war weren't as badly affected as you see in modern times right now, say in the last uh, 20 years or so, um, for different reasons. It's a whole different dynamic than it was in the uh, 40s, 50s. But, okay, let's just say the people that went to World War II in the 40s uh, let's see, 30, they would have probably been born in the 20s, something like that. Uh, maybe, uh, anyway, early 30s, but, okay, in those days, there was less divorce. There was less alcoholism, there was less abuse in the home. They grew up in a loving home, probably with two parents. Uh, a lot of people went to church, a lot of people read the Bible. Uh, there was, uh... Not all the crazy stuff. I don't even think there was TV in those days. Uh, not, a, not a bunch of crazy stuff in the movies. Uh, not a bunch of crazy books. All you could, if, if you want to get up into trouble in those days, maybe some books and the movies weren't that bad yet. Uh, you know, and so, but but people um, were more innocent and uh, they, 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 they read the Bible a lot. They, they, there, there was not divorce and broken families. There was not a lot of drugs. There was not a lot of uh, occult activity, uh, you know, dark spiritual activity like there is in the last 30 years. Well, since the uh, 60s and 70s and stuff. Um, so those people grew up, like I said, with less divorce, broken homes, less alcohol, almost no drugs, going to church a lot. Having good community, grandma and grandpa around, aunts and uncles, friends. So they were strong. Uh, having a good family, a, a good healthy family, makes you strong in your soul and your spirit. Going to church, believing in God, uh, being filled with the power of God, uh, reading the Bible, uh, having good friends, uh, not getting into a lot of sin. Sin damages your soul and your spirit makes you weak. Yes. And so those men and women, let's just say men, they went to the war and they were able to bounce back from the trauma of World War II. They were able to bounce back from it and, 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 and kind of carry on. And, you know, I don't know how they ever dealt with it, but uh, um, maybe they had some counseling. There probably wasn't a lot of, you know, counseling wasn't that good in them days. But however they dealt with it, probably from you know, uh, Christianity, which, which God will, he, he's the only thing that can heal you. Only, only thing, only one that can heal you. The real true living Judeo Christian God, Yahweh, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, the God and father of our Lord, Jesus Christ, father, son, and the Holy spirit. It's only, only with one, only thing that can heal you of this because you have to be free from demonic, uh, power and the attack of it and, uh, have your soul and spirit healed. You can't go to the doctor for that. Where they're going to get a scalpel, and what are they going to do with your soul and spirit? Anyway, only God can heal you. The first message of Jesus Christ says, "I'm going to heal the broken-hearted or the broken soul and spirit, and set the captives free." He heals your broken heart and heals your soul and your spirit. Uh, yeah, you are you are a spirit, soul, and body tripart being. Um, you can heal up, stitch up your your flesh and, and, and you can mend and put a pin in your bone, but what are you going to do about your soul and spirit part of you? And, um, but, but there's, there's more research into that area cause it's a fact. <clears throat> and anyway, and so for PTSD people back in the world war two, they didn't come from so much broken homes and, and drugs and alcohol and all the sin, sin damages your soul and your spirit. And when your soul and your spirit is damaged, you cannot bounce back from trauma. Uh, like in a war, uh, like people could in the olden days. And that's why there's more damage from uh, PTSD 
and, and a lot more suicide than ever from the wars, uh, say, since the last, since um, 2001 till now. That's why, right there. I don't care what you think. I don't care. I've been over in these places for years, seen and experienced all kind of whatever, and been down, been been under it, been been um, under PTSD and all this stuff, but came out of it from the healing of Jesus and the Holy Spirit and, uh, you know, God Almighty, whatever. Um, and and there, there's a lot to it. You have to get uh, soul, inner, soul spirit healing. They call it inner healing. And you have to have deliverance from demon oppression, uh, possession, oppression, attachments. Um, you have to have witchcraft curses broken off of you. You soldiers that went to these places, uh, the, them people cursed you with black magic and witchcraft. You have to get that broken off of you. You have to forgive the people and and you have to forgive everybody. And you got to be born again in Jesus. You got to give your life to Jesus Christ. Make covenant with him to believe in him and only him to save you. And he'll start doing instant things in your life and set you free from PTSD and suicide and depression and confusion and everything else. Drugs, alcohol, whatever you're into, he'll set you free. He's the only one that can set you free and set you free from demons and and, and self-hatred and everything else. And so another thing, and back in the World War II days, the reason those people bounced back better than the people in modern days from war and trauma, and you know, PTSD, they didn't get it as bad and they bounced back and were able to have a more normal life because there was less sin in those days. Now here we go in modern days. Uh, Nowadays, in the last, say, 20, 30 years, say, especially the last 20 years, you got young men coming, go, going into to, to, to war and stuff. So they grew up 80s and 90s, let's say the 90s, and, and uh, you know, in school, and let's just say they go into military 18, 19, 20. So they grew up with a lot of drugs, a lot of alcohol, a lot of crazy stuff on TV movies, internet, uh, pornography, drugs, alcohol, broken homes, uh, occult movies, uh, satanic witchcraft, um, occult, look up what the word occult means, uh, the, the black, uh, spiritual, you know, you know, witch, witchcraft, um, occultism, new age, all this stuff. They grew up with that in the movies and video games and books and access to it, Ouija boards, whatever they may have known about or gotten into or seen, or it's in their family background. Maybe their parents got into it, their grandparents. That is just damaging their soul and spirit. Occult involvement. You or your family background. Alcohol, drugs, sexual sin, video games. Um... Tattoos, tattoos. More and more people getting tattoos and piercings. Uh, demons attached to tattoos. I've seen people get demons cast out of their tattoos. It was very amazing, very shocking. I saw it in Australia. Then I've seen it in other places. And um, people get demons cast out of their piercings. Because uh, it's all, see, tattoos, if you, look here, if you go to Africa, Asia, the 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 uh, the animists, the uh, the witchcraft people, the black magic, the animists, pagans, they get tattoos to be protected from demons, but also to attract demons for protection, for for getting uh, uh, some sexual uh, help, um, getting money, get, all controlling people, all this stuff. So the 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 the, the pagan people, I've seen it over here. Uh, first hand um, uh, in here and so forth they know that a tattoo attracts demon power you see they know that same South America all over the place Africa uh, but I've seen it so tattoos attract demons the demon can le legally live in and work through a tattoo and a piercing a piercing the Bible says the Bible says don't pierce yourself the Bible says don't tattoo yourself very simple. That's a pagan thing. It says, don't be like the, 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 the pagans, the non-Christians, the non 
covenant with God people. Don't learn their practices Don't because they're an abomination and they're cursed. They're under the judgment of God and it connects you to demons. Have no fellowship with demons. So anyway, these guys, they go, they'll go and get a bunch of tattoos. They get all drunk. They go to a prostitute. And they go over to war. Then they wonder why they got hit so hard from the trauma of war and why they're all messed up with PTSD. And then uh, there, there, there's the prescription drugs that get you more connected to Babylon and demons and what leads you down the road to depression, suicide, confusion, blanking out. And it's like that. So there's more uh, people going into the military with tattoos. They've been in the occult, been in bad movies, uh, been exposed to bad movies, TV shows, uh, all kind of sexual sin, pornography. They maybe went to a prostitute. They got drunk. They uh, took, used drugs. Uh, they're violent um, in, 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 in an unnecessary way. Uh, violence is okay if it's used only for the right reasons. But just to go out there and be a jerk and go out there hurting people and doing stuff like that puts you under a curse, gets you demonized. Uh, but tattoos, alcohol, cigarettes, drugs, uh, fornication, adultery, sex without marriage, get you demon-possessed, demon-oppressed, especially prostitution. And um, they get all these soul ties. And so there, every sin damages your soul and your spirit. And the Bible says by a strength of soul and spirit, you can bounce back from sickness and from trauma, and you can recover and be strong. Because the condition of your soul and your spirit determines the, the condition of your life. Third John 2, I think it's Proverbs chapter 23. And uh, the, the, the whole strength of the human person, spirit, soul, and body, your strength comes from the, the strength of your spirit, man. And sin damages and weakens your human spirit. And that damages also your soul and your mind and um, nervous system. And the whole body from then starts breaking down. Then if you had demons, uh, satanic spirits, witchcraft, curses that can legally uh, uh, come into you from tattoos, alcohol, drugs, sexual sin, prostitutes, whatever. Um, and then you got guilt, confusion, depression, guilt, um, shame, anger. All these things start piling up more legal ground for demons to, to enter and work through in and out in your life, they're going to lead you, connect you to Babylon, connect you to hell, and lead a person into confusion, depression, um, self-hatred, anger, suicide, and then they do. So the way out of it, give your life to Jesus, get born again in him, look online. There's a lot of ministries online, or go to a real church, that believes God casts out demons and heals the sick and sets people free. Find a church that believes in that and does it, believes the Bible, believes only in Jesus. Now, I'm not talking about Catholic and, and um, dead churches. I'm talking about spirit, uh, Holy Spirit churches. Believe that you must be born again. Preach the Word of God. Believe the Bible. Believe in healings and miracles by the power of, of the name of Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And then start getting set free. Healed in your soul and your spirit. Um, go to a call Elijah house, call, uh, restoring the foundations, um, um, Sozo ministries. Uh, there's a lot of good ones. Um, gateway church, um, cleansing streams. Um, there's a lot of ministries that do this. It's very important. It's vital. Look online, um, you know, get set free, uh, inner healing deliverance. Uh, through the name of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, and then you can set, be set free. You don't have to kill yourself. You don't have to be incapacitated. You don't have to be confused and depressed. You can be healed from anything and everything, anything and everything, anything and everything. You can be healed uh, when you can give your life to Jesus Christ and get filled with the Holy Spirit and re start reading the Bible and living by the Bible and get in a good church and have good, wise friends, and you uh, will recover from any and everything and win. All right, we'll, we'll get some more teaching on this. Uh, check us out, lovinglifeministriesint.com and calledbeyond.com, C-A-L-L-E-D, 
uh, called beyond.com, called beyond.com and Love Your Life Ministries, INT, INT is for international. Check us out online. Give us an offering. Help us out so we can keep preaching and teaching and helping people. We preach all over the 1040 window, uh, saving the lost people, healing and rescuing people, and then ministering in America to save America. America needs to be saved from uh, communism and socialism and all kind of crazy nonsense and paganism. Help us out. We're doing a good work. Hey, if your life is saved from suicide, help us out. Become a partner with us. T give a tithe, give a 10% of what the Bible commands you to do and help us out and uh, help us keep, keep going so we can do more. LovingLifeMinistriesInt.com, calledbeyond.com and uh, help us out and um, share this video uh, so people don't commit suicide so, they, so that they can be healed in their soul and their spirit and set free. That You can be healed of PTSD but only in Jesus Christ and by the power of God and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus.